Hey, welcome to another exciting video for Beyond Art Tutorials. My name is Chris, and today I'm looking at basically how I put together a, a character design, and the theme of this one is Drawing Sexy Women. The title of the article is Who Wants to Draw Sexy Women? And I'm sure a lot of you who come to the site or have seen my work on DeviantArt or in other places notice the, uh, the majority of the characters I draw are female. I mean, if you look at comic books today or whatever, I mean, DC, Marvel, Image, whoever you look at, the, the characters these guys design are, like, stunning. There's <laughs> no fat chicks involved, really. And, you know, that's just cut the kind of the way the industry is, but, you know, those designs are popular. So I want to look at that in today's article. Uh, down the road, I'll do other character designs, but right now I'm going to look at this one. And I have prepared a character design using my Steps to Successful Drawing, which you can download on the site if you look at the right toolbar. You'll see a, a download link with a, a lovely portrait of a woman there with a red background. If you click on that, it'll take you to the download link and you can download my free e-guide, my six steps to the successful drawing. And I'm following the steps here to create this character, but I'm only going to use a few of them. I'm not going to go all the way through the drawing, like coloring and finalizing it. I'm just going to start thinking before I draw. I'm going to start thumbnailing, which is think big but draw small and you know make sure my symmetry is right and that stuff and you'll follow along with me as I play this out. So let's start with first thinking before drawing. I need a plan. I need to know what my character is doing. Uh, you know I need to think about who she is, what does she look like and all this stuff. Before I put pencil to paper and waste my time trying to just hash out what I want and remember I you know I'm not a super visual person so for me, what helps is planning before I do this work. So let's see, I have my little questionnaire here that I prepared. So I ask myself first, who is this character? And I make up a little bio for her, you know, Liz Watley, super scientist, and she's smoking hot, and you know, she dresses like a rebel, so she's wearing a lab coat, but not really much underneath, you know. Uh, she wears glasses, so she looks smart. She's wearing a bikini. Uh, she's, I would describe, she has light brown hair, straight, with a, a pink clip on the right side of her head. You know, so I had little details that I figured would make her look better, and I, I, I did a bullet list, white lab coat, uh, pink bikini top. I think I forego the, uh, I had her in short shorts in the original description, but I'm going to forego that and I just went with the whole bikini top and bottom. You know, why not? It doesn't matter. You know, in the world of illustration, you can just do whatever you want and it makes sense. Pink glasses, light brown hair, it's straight, the pink clip. She's holding some sort of digital tablet. I'm sure it has super science going on on there. Badge on the coat. And she's wearing a headset, and she has some kind of technology glove on her hand. Kind of like a cut-off glove, but it's got techno stuff going on, so it looks cool. So let's, let's go with that. And let's see what else. I said, what is she doing at the moment? What is she feeling? And, you know, right here it says Liz's confident looks, as well as her intellect, flirty, borderline cocky, and show-off. These are all those character traits I came up with on the fly to say, like, well, why would this ultra smart woman be dressed like this? She has to have this personality, right? Otherwise, you would just dress like a scientist. You'd probably have on a button-down shirt or something sensible. And she's not dressed sensibly like <laughs> like a character from anime. It just, just doesn't make any sense. So you have to make it make sense in terms of like what kind of person would dress like this. And I said we're capturing a moment when an experiment she's running is about to pay off. And she's on her headset communicating with someone. And says her stance conveys excitement and confidence and her face belies a slight puzzlement she's getting data and i said her body's posed with energy and excitement so basically she's not just standing there you know talking on a headset it has to look a little more energetic you know the, the pose has to have some energy but at the same time it has to have a purpose you know, I don't want her to look like she's posing for Sports Illustrated in a lab coat. It has to look like, well, some science is happening, but she looks hot doing that science. Okay, so let's go over to where I drew this in Open Canvas. This gave me a good opportunity. I'm using the latest version of Open Canvas, I think is 5.5e. And I like it so far. It does have a couple of little quirks in it. There's a couple of little bugs. And I'll, I'm going to do a software review. That's why I used it to work on this picture. Uh, but overall, I think it's a great program. I think it has a lot of good features in it that could help a lot of people. What I especially like is it has perspective rulers. 
And perspective is one of those things that's very important. And I think any tool that helps you do perspective is a, a bonus, is a plus, especially this thing puts out rulers and guides that you can snap to and draw us to make it very easy. So I'll demonstrate that when I do a software review of it. But right now, I tried to do this whole character design in here. And the nice thing about Open Canvas is it records everything you do in a separate event file. So you can play it back and see everything you did through every step of the drawing. And I'm going to play that back for you now. I'm using the trial version, and the trial version doesn't allow you to to pause uh, playback or slow it down to normal speed. So we're gonna have to watch this in kind of like, like hyper speed mode. And I'll try to explain as it's going along what I was doing when I was drawing this stuff. All right, so let's, uh, let me load this up here. It's gonna load up and here we go. Now, I'm just trying to get a feel for the design, so I'm sketching her face. And you see I do a three-quarters view on a front view of her face to try to get this character design down. I gave her kind of a button off, but I fixed that. There's a straight hair. Put a little silly hair clip in there. I didn't exactly know what I wanted yet, so I just slapped something on the right side of her head. Now I'm doing a three-quarters view. There's that weird hair clip. And there's the glasses. Trying to get the design right. There we go. Come on. Now I'm trying to get a pose, so now I'm thumbnailing. Now it's like, what pose looks like it has energy and yet she's doing science? So I'm trying all these kind of poses that have energy. You know, I'm trying, she's talking our headset, that's why her hand is up to her head. I'm just trying all these things. There she's walking, here she's got her hand on her hip, but she's like, what's going on? I'm trying all these things and. Eventually, I tried this kind of like, I don't know, I, don't know I, I was going like somewhere with this one with the sexy pose, but this just looks like she's posing for you, so got rid of that. Now, nah, here we go, like, I think I've nailed it, that's what I'm doing right now, just holding a tablet, trying to figure out exactly what she's doing, so she's looking at the tablet, she's got her finger probably on her headset in her ear. See she's looking up and it looks like she's talking to somebody. And I was trying to work through this sketch. It's like oh, our head's too big, I brought it down. It's the headset brought her arm down so it looks right. I'm trying to get her hands right. Overall I was as I was working up the sketch I really wasn't happy with it. I was kinda like, oh this was the first strong idea I had. And one thing to learn in drawing if you haven't already is that the, your first strong idea isn't always the best idea and it, you can always draw another idea. That's why you always draw small. And I was drawing small for a while and I kind of got impatient and I'm like, okay, this is a strong idea, let me just work with this. And here, here's the symmetry thing, I flipped her over and I'm making corrections to her face. And I'm fixing the bikini up there, make sure it looks right. That's the bikini bottom. And... So I put a butterfly clip on her, but as I was drawing this, what I really was thinking was I was turning her into a Hawaiian tropics waitress. You know, I was like, she was supposed to be a scientist. She wasn't supposed to be a, a, a Hooters girl, so, you know, as I was doing this, I just got kind of fed up here. I'm trying to get the lab coat right, short, but this looks like a short shirt. It doesn't look like a lab coat. Put the glass there. I, I made the lab coat longer. I'm like, yes, it should be a coat. So I brought it down and I gave up. So I did another sketch all together of a much stronger drawing. And then I pose, and here I start working it up. You can see I drew it in pencil in a book because I, I, I went somewhere else and I'm like, I need to go on quiet so I need to try this. And this drawing looks much stronger. It looks like it has energy. She's got her hand up. She's tilted in a pose. And just has so much more energy there drawing her accessories. There's a tablet, there's that weird glove on her hand. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like a glove Iron Man would have or something. Like something Tony Stark would wear. You got a big headset. There I'm working out. Uh, let's start inking, inking her hair. As you can see, the one thing I do is draw through the character to make sure I have all the connecting things right. When you ink, that's when you can make sure your, your lines stop where they should. But when you're penciling, you now just draw through stuff, make sure your stuff follows through and looks right. 
So there I'm checking out my it's okay and start pulling all the details. Get to the face last, start drawing in those details. There we go. And that's the pretty much the ink version. Eventually, I'll, uh, I'll color this one and put it on my even art account in the gallery, and I'll, I'll update the article with a link to it so you can see the final version. But I'll post this version in the article, this ink version, so you can see. Take care.